and that's it. Oh my gosh, it's exactly how I remember it. That was like almost a year ago. Medium iced coffee, three pumpkin, three caramel, and then three cream. I have not had coffee in two weeks. So if some of you don't know, I didn't have my car for two weeks because of the two accidents. My car finally went to the shop for it all to get fixed because it just needs to be fixed, you know? And the bumper wasn't even ordered, so they're not fixing it until the bumper comes in. Was allowed to pick up my car yesterday and then it's going back in the shop this coming up Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, so I have a few days with my car, which honestly I'm kind of happy about because I have done nothing the past two weeks. Haven't got coffee haven't like went and did anything on my own couldn't go to the beach couldn't go shopping couldn't do anything because i didn't have a car today is my first out and about and it's literally amazing it's so refreshing being able to listen to music in my car and just like drive i haven't drove in two weeks we are just gonna go around town doing everything that i've been wanting to do this past two weeks and the first thing was getting coffee first stop that i need to make is target so i think two years ago or was it last year so i got elizabeth this for her birthday i think it was like an early birthday gift oh my god this is one of those things that open <laughs> oh my god there's more <laughs> this is so cute oh my god i'm gonna cr <laughs> talking about your wedding are you for real <laughs> She can't ever fit it in her suitcase because her suitcase is just full when she leaves. And we're moving. I don't really want to move with this. So I am just going to ship it off to her. And it's actually kind of funny. Her birthday is actually this month and is in nine days actually. So it's kind of funny. So here, I'm going to re-gift this to you for your 20th birthday. I'm just kidding. I really do need to ship this off and I don't have a box for it. And I honestly think Target boxes would be cheaper than the post office boxes. I hope. I figured out the box situation. Hopefully this fits. It's only three bucks, so it shouldn't be that bad, right? But I'm gonna get her a birthday card because I'm not there to wish her a happy birthday in person, so might as well just throw in a birthday card as well. But the funny thing is she's turning 20. 20. Yep, 20. She's 20. Well, there's no card to celebrate 20. I think I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna write a zero right here because I'm like that. And I'm just gonna be her reminder that she's 20 because she's old. Because here's the age cards, but there's only 18, 16, or 21. Or there's this one where I could write like a small zero next to it. I think this one's cute. Guys, I came out with just a box and a card. I am so proud of myself. I had actually walked around all of Target, didn't find anything because you know, it's just mature like that. So. I did get the box, but then I was looking at it and I was like, y'all know what I forgot to get? Tape, I don't have tape. So I don't really know how I'm supposed to ship it off without tape. I wonder if I can like fill out the information and then take it to the post office and be like, I don't have tape. That's not supposed to feel like that. It's supposed to feel like this. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, please fit. It fits! I could have definitely gotten a smaller box, but it was only three bucks, so it's okay. I also need to fill out the birthday card that I got her. I can get the ones that I was showing you. I found this one. So it says, first, the bad news, you're a year older. <laughs> In the card, it says, now the good news, no one can tell. Happy birthday. It's not like super, super funny, but it's just kind of like acknowledging the fact that she's 20. So I'm gonna fill out the box and then fill out the card. And then we're gonna go to the post office. Okay, I made it to the post office. There she is. I feel very stupid going in with a box that is untaped. I called my mom and I was like, will they take a box that's not taped? Like, will they give me tape? <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'll keep you updated. I got it shipped. Box that I bought would have cost me $57. The guy was like, um, do you want to get a smaller box? And I was like, yeah, of course. That's, that's fine if it's going to be cheaper. And he was like, yeah, it was going to cost you $57 to ship that for like two things. If you're ever going to ship something, find the smallest box possible because no way was I about to spend $57 either in seven to 10 days, which is low-key funny because her birthday is in nine. So I'm hoping it takes nine days to get there because that would low-key be perfect. Yeah. I'm in spot B. B? B. 
B as in B. boy. B as in boy? Yes, boy. Okay, bye. Bye. My mom just called me and she was like, she was like, can you stop at Walmart and get my groceries? And I was like, sure. And I was like, I wasn't planning on stopping at home. And she was like, no, 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 you don't have to because nothing's cold. We're at Walmart doing like the little pickup thing. So yeah, I'm in spot B. I'll wait for them to come. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but we'll see. See, look, you literally just sit in your car and they load the groceries for you. Oh, he's here. Well, he came. That's all that there, there is. I feel like there should be more. He came up to my window and he just handed them to me. I guess he probably did that because there was only three and he wasn't just gonna put them in the trunk. I get that, but... Let's see what my mom ordered. Ramen, of course. Um, she got Mr. Clean detergent, multi-surface. Sesame seed oil. And soy sauce. How lovely. I got groceries. That's all she asked me to do, so. Okay, you know what's crazy to me is that it's only 1.30 and everyone's still in school. Like my sister is still in school right now. I am just like baffled by that. It's just a little bit different for me since I'm not going to school, like no college. So if you guys don't go to school, no college gap year, you probably understand what I mean. But anyways, we're going to TJ Maxx. Haven't been in forever. I have a birthday party in two weeks. Cheer friend, but I've known her for five years, so I'm like excited to go. It's her sweet 16, and it's like my sweet 16 where it was kind of like dress formally, you wear a cute little dress. So I texted her and I was like, do you have a dress code? So we're waiting for a response. She responded. She's wearing a fancy dress from Windsor. Look at these Halloween blankets. These are so freaking cute. And they're cheap too, look. 14 to 16.99. <gasps> that one's fun. Oh, I like this one. This is cute. Okay, this one's my favorite. I freaking love this so much. It's $17, but I'm not gonna get it. Go to your local TJ Maxx if you want a cute Halloween blanket. I spent $55.60 at TJ Maxx. The first thing that I got are these gold hoop earrings. They're thicker and bigger than the ones I have in now, which I low-key wanted though, because these aren't really like noticeable. They're literally like super thin and just like really small. So, so these are actually gold plated. I found this Tarte palette. So the reason why I got this is because of the dark colors. I use eyeshadow as my eyeliner and I have this big Tarte palette that I usually pack and it's just so annoying because it doesn't fit in my makeup bag when I'm traveling. So I got a smaller one. So I just needed these two colors. I mean, the other ones are cute as well. I saw this one. I wasn't gonna get both, but I think all of these colors are beautiful. Last but not least, I saw this really cute tank top. I'm obsessed with the color and the lace on the front is really cute. It's just like a simple tank top to have. So yeah, that's basically everything that I got from TJ Maxx. I'm obsessed with everything. I am going to get lunch because it's currently two o'clock. I should have ate lunch before we started running errands, but you know, we make mistakes mistakes for human. Um, so I'm headed to Chick-fil-A because I was pretty close and you know, your girl hasn't been to Chick-fil-A in like a month. So um, I do miss it, even though it's low key bad for you. All right, I got it. The bag is secured. Clearly the world is on my side today because not only did they give me two, they gave me three. That's a first. Oh, today is such a good day. One thing about me is I have to be watching something when I'm eating. So I'm watching Grey's Anatomy, season five, episode 16. So on the way home, I decided to stop at Plato's Closet and here are some name brand things that I found. I was so surprised to find pieces from Brandy Melville, Princess Polly, and even Zara. I just got out of Plato's closet. I was only planning on going in and just looking. I ended up coming out with a big tote bag full of clothes. Once I get home, I'll give you a haul of everything because there's too much to go over and I'm also sitting out in a car. Um, so it's currently four o'clock. I've been out since 10 o'clock. I've been a busy bee. I don't really have anything else to do besides going home and showing you guys what I got. Okay, so the first thing that I got is this skirt with this cute little belt. So I thought this was really bold because it's like very vibrant. And I thought this was really cute for going out. 
so this is from forever 21 and i got it for six bucks and the next thing that i got is this like cover-up and the sleeves are like extra flare i thought this was really cute to wear a white tank top underneath this was one of my good purchases actually so this is from urban outfitters so the next thing that i got is definitely one of my favorite pieces this is from urban urban is pretty expensive and i got this for 12 bucks there's nothing 12 dollars this is so freaking cute i love the color it's super soft and oversized no it's a small so i literally cannot wait to wear this the next thing i kind of am just hoping fits i didn't try it on because i don't i didn't really want to try it on i found this black sparkly dress for gianna's birthday party so again that's in two weeks and the dresses that i tried on in tj maxx were just not formal enough because she said a windsor dress and windsor dresses are like super hoco like formal so i'm hoping that this works because I think it's really simple and formal enough to wear to her birthday party and I already have shoes and everything so I'm praying that fits. The thing that I got is this super cute white tank from Forever 21. I got it for six dollars. <laughs> um it's super like girly It'd be really cute with the green skirt as well but i just really like this because it's simple and like casual to wear out another thing that i'm hoping that fits is i don't own any levi jeans they are my size but i don't know how levi fits especially on my body type um because i do have really big hips so I'm hoping that these fit. So they're just straight leg. They're a little like tight at the ankle, but it's okay. They should be cute. I really like the color. Uh, so I'm hoping that these fit. I got these for $15, not bad. So the next thing that I got, this is from Target. I got it for $6. <laughs> um, I really like the color. It'd be really cute with the Levi jeans um, with some Converse, really cute outfit. But I just wanted a lot more simple like tops rather than like going out tops. Cause I feel like my whole closet's going out and I just can't throw on like a regular t-shirt so i got that so i looked at the lululemon section and i found two things and i got them both for 16 dollars. this is a very big deal because lulu is so expensive so first things first is i got this long sleeve for 16 dollars. i love her so much the neckline is kind of weird because it has like these two like weird flaps right here like I don't know if you can see that. It's just a really weird neckline. Best day ever. Then I got this purple Lulu Fanatic. So I honestly don't know the real names of all of these. Like I usually just get their leggings and their line tanks. So I don't really know what this is called. Oops, my bad. Don't. No Lulu fans come for me. <laughs> it's my size. And I was like, my sister wears these all the time. And I try to steal hers because I love to wear them with my running shorts. And they're great for when I like go either like on a run or in like amusement park. And I just want like an athletic top. Like, if you're sleeping on Plato's closet, go. Just go to look, browse, because that's what I did and I found all of that. So yeah, that's everything that I got. So um, I'm not going to try any of it on because it's just like Goodwill. Like no one washes their clothes to drop them off at Plato's closet. So before it touches my body, I'm going to wash it and I just don't have time to wash it right now. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul and I hope you get your butt up out of bed, get in your car or get dropped off and go to Plato's closet because I'm telling you that's where it's at.